This is the moment we've all been waiting for. A huge update from Leonardo AI. And it's finally here. Character reference. It's one of the most requested features for Leonardo AI. This update is so incredible. You can now create consistent characters. And not only am I going to show you how to create consistent characters, but I'm also going to give you an amazing prompt generator you're definitely going to want to try with this new feature. This one will instantly create you 22 prompts with the best cinematic style and photorealistic style prompts that you'll see. You can now use a single character image to guide your generations. Produce consistent characters for film, TV, graphic novels, and books. Also fashion design, marketing, and then gaming assets. Then to take it up even a very big notch, you can also use the magical combination of different image guidances. When you combine character reference with style reference or content reference and even pose reference, the results you're going to get are going to blow your mind. Then here are just a few very important guidance tools right here. Use Photoreal V2 or Alchemy V2 with one of the XL or lighting models for best results. My favorite fine tune models are Albedo Base XL or Leonardo Kino XL. So make sure you stick around because we have a ton of awesome things to cover. After I show you how to use character reference, we're going to head over to ChatGPT and I'm going to show you how you can literally get infinite amount of prompts that will be specific specifically designed to produce phenomenal results for Leonardo AI character reference. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to my Leonardo AI mega prompts database. If you don't have access to this database, make sure you check the links in the description. I'll also include a link in my description so you can get access to this as well. What makes this thing so special is that for every Leonardo AI update, every new fine tuned model, preset or element, etc., I'm going to come in here and add brand new prompts with brand new images, including prompt generators which will be prompts that generate prompts. There are a ton in here. So if you open up and expand any prompt, it's going to show you the exact image that this prompt will generate, the fine-tuned model, the alchemy preset, and then here's the full prompt. And then it has convenient tags so you can easily find them. And I add new prompts to it every single day. You'll have lifetime access. One of the other newer things I added is something called AI bonus prompt. The main prompt that created this image is this one right here. But now I have Airtable set up with AI capabilities, I not only get the original prompt I used, but then I'm gonna get three more other prompts or keywords that you can use. Okay, now we're over here in Leonardo AI. Once we're over here in image generation, we're gonna find this new tool over here in image guidance. And then here we are, just like this. So the first thing we wanna do is simply just add an image. I can click on this box and I have a multitude of options. And let's go ahead and select the image that we wanna create. And now I'll have her over here on the left-hand side, over here on top type. Now just select character reference. Generates an image in the likeness of the provided character reference image. I'm going to generate this image in three different variations. I'll do low, mid, and high just so you can see the difference. Now simply all you have to do is just type in what sort of prompt that you want. I already have one in here. Let's just go ahead and try this one. I'll switch to Albedo Base XL and I have Dynamic on. So here we go. Okay now wait until you see these results. And now here we are. Look how amazing that these did. Now, again, I did a few variations. And so in total, I have four rows, all a little bit different based on my strength and fine tune models. If I select view generation info, I have my strength reference as the highest. This middle row, it's going to have it in the middle. And then this row right here at the top, this is going to have it lower. So this top section of my images, it's not going to look as consistent as my original character as, let's say, for comparison, if I use this image, for example, this one right here is a perfect duplication because I have my setting toggled to the highest. Okay, but then I change my prompt up on this top row right here and you could see it up here at the top. It was Albedo Base XL, again dynamic, okay? And then for my generation info, I also have this as the highest setting. So new different prompt, look at what a phenomenal job that this did, perfectly right. And again, just to compare, here is my original image I uploaded. You can look at this girl's face and say this did a phenomenal job. I want to open up this prompt right here because this produces some fascinating images. We can kind of see sort of what we're going to get. We're going to use this prompt, change it up a little bit, but I really want to get that fantasy sort of environment. And I'll leave everything on high, but what I'm going to do instead is close-up shot, cinematic style, and then I left the whole entire prompt the same. Now, for this next one, let me take things up a notch. Check this out. Now what we're going to 
gonna do is I'm gonna add a second image input over here on the right hand side. So select this box and let's go down to some of my previous generations. I want this next image, I wanna have this woman's pose completely changed up. Let's say I want her looking similar to this image where it's kind of a side angle view. So now what I'll do is I'll leave my character reference the same on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side for this image, I'm gonna change it from style reference and I'm gonna select pose to image, okay? That means I want this same sort of character character reference, but now I want her pose to be similar to this one. And so for this one, I'm going to drag this strength more towards the end as well, because I really want to put an emphasis that I want her pose to be more similar in this style. I'll select generate on here. I'll do another one and then move the strength back towards the middle and then do a second image. But as we're waiting on those most recent ones, look at these images I got right here. When I use that fantasy style prompt with Kino XL, now check out how amazing this looks. This is a beautiful looking image, very consistent with my original character image. So it looks like we're still waiting on the pose to image ones. Since we're waiting on that, let's just go ahead and then do one more thing. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a third image. And now let's choose this woman in the snow right here. Select confirm. Now I'm gonna leave this one on style reference. So I have character reference, Pose to image and now style reference. All of them are around high. Let's now select generate on this one. Okay, and then here we have it. Look at this row right here, okay? Fantastic result. Remember, on this one, I chose pose to image and it got that pose exactly right. If I scroll up, we did the same thing again, but remember on this one, I used character reference again with pose to image, but a little bit different of a strength toggle. Again, it got the pose perfectly. But now my favorite thing of this is gonna be this one right here. This is fascinating. This is where we used three different image guidance, okay? If I select my generation info, we could see it exactly right here. We used a character reference, a pose to image, and a style reference, with all different sorts of images, but we ultimately ended up with this image right here. And again, completely keeping the consistency and maintaining the same exact character look. So not only is character reference the most needed and one of the most exciting features to come out so far with Leonardo AI, but it's even more powerful and impressive when you combine it with other image guidance tools. Okay, now let's move on to the grand finale. I told you earlier I have an amazing prompt generator I wanna share with you guys, and that's exactly what you see on your screen right here. Now, you can see on here it is a relatively long prompt, but check it out. So after I give ChatGPT or Claude this prompt, I basically instructed it to produce two prompts for every single keyword I have right here. So you can see I have 11 keywords, all relative to a cinematic or photorealistic style of image, which will be 22 different prompts. So again, back in my Leonardo AI database, here is the full prompt right here. I'm simply gonna copy and paste this whole entire thing, okay? Now wait until you see what this is gonna produce for us. And so again, as a reminder, check the links in the description. So I'll have access to this database in addition to this prompt generator I'm sharing with you. Okay, so here we are over here in ChatGPT. 3.5 is perfectly fine. I have the whole entire prompt pasted. Let's go ahead and now select enter. The first thing you'll notice is ChatGPT just simply says, Okay, I understand. Just provide me with the subject. I'll just say beautiful woman. That's all you have to do. Simple. Two words and now select enter. Now watch this. Immediately, it's crafting two prompts for each characteristic. If it gets hung up or if it says, let me know when you're ready for the next set of prompts, just simply type in continue and it's just gonna keep going down the list. Here's the next keyword, photorealistic. And sometimes it keeps doing this, and so you might have to do continue a few times. However, when I use this a few different times, I didn't have to keep saying continue. Like right here, you could just see that it automatically just spits out all 11 of these prompts immediately. Okay, so just as a comparison, I'm gonna head over to Claude and I'm gonna select Opus. And now let's see what kind of results we can get in Claude. Select enter, and then immediately, I'm gonna get 22 prompts right here from Claude. But either way, you're still gonna get 22 amazing prompts. 
prompts. So what I'll do is just go ahead and then generate a few images from each AI. Notice this, in most of the prompts I got, Claude actually provides me with the type of camera and lens for many of these prompts. Check this out. For example, even the first one in cinematic, it's basically giving me in one and two, a popular artist's name, okay, Hasselblad. And then number two, I'm getting Ari Alexa, but now I'm going to get these specific lenses. The same as I go through each one because it's a National Geographic style. This one says Nikon D850 70-200 millimeter lens. So with that said, let's now head back over to Leonardo AI and then just a quick scroll through these images. You could see what a fantastic job all of these did. But as I scroll through some of these, they're just amazing how well that these look, okay? So let's just scroll up here for an example. This one looks fascinating, extreme close-up shot where it says every detail needs to be the center of attention, okay? Captured in meticulous detail. And then just to show you the wide variety of what you're gonna get with this prompt generator, look at these images right here, fantastic job. Now, the reason why this looks like this is because I chose the specific prompt with that specific artist. And this one is right here Meryl McAster. And so there is the prompt, but this artist definitely has a very specific look. And that is going to be exactly what this image looks like right here. Here is where I am really impressed. When you use that new element, fiery flames, you're going to get images that look just like this. Now to add icing to the cake, you can always use the motion video tab and it's going to create a motion video just like this one right here. Fascinating job. So there you have it. The newest feature by Leonardo AI. And in my opinion, it is one of the most needed and most requested ones. Let me know what you guys think and what sort of creations you were able to make. I would love to see them, so please share them in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. Until then, we'll see you next time.